Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It is a brutally cold night here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's down around minus 11, minus 12 C. It's the perfect time to have a beer. So for today, what I have is something interesting. Now, it's not exactly interesting because it's of what the beer itself is. I mean, it's just a uh, American lager. But this lager is called Boom. It's the 2023 edition. And this is a collaboration between the 1870 1870 Society and Grey Duck Brewing or Grey Duck Spirits. Uh, you see it just says Boom on the can. So, the 1870 Society is a for-profit names, image, likeness collective that supports Ohio State Athletics. Now, some of you aren't out there aren't sports fans or whatever. For the longest time, the NCAA uh, did not allow students, student athletes, to profit off their name, their likeness, or image, anything of that sorts. And in uh, 2021, they changed the rules, so now students can, I guess, profit off their name, their likeness, their image, student-athletes. Um, they have some protections now if uh, a company uses a picture of them or uses them in any way and they aren't compensated for it or, or, or don't have the permission, I guess they can go after them for it. I mean, the rules are pretty complex, and it, it's something that I'm not real familiar with. But it is something interesting. And what it's done is allow uh, organizations to do things like this. So this beer, like I said, is a collaboration between the 1870 Society and Grey Duck Brewing or Grey Duck Spirits. Uh, when you look on Untapped and whatever, it says the brewery is the 1870 Society and it's a contract brewery. So now they've had this Grey Duck actually brew their beer. And it's interesting because Grey Duck is out of Minnesota. They've got a lot of locations around Minnesota, and it seems in my research they're mainly known as a, a spirits company. But it also looks like they've they've gone off into this kind of like niche market of NIL brands. They had a couple other NIL beers supporting other athletic organizations from universities. So that's kind of interesting, something different I haven't seen before. I guess it's pretty new. Well, obviously it's pretty new. It's 2021 rule change. Now, one cool thing about this beer is, according to the 12-pack uh, container, 20% of the sales of the beer go to the 1870 Society. So you are supporting the Ohio State Athletics. And there is a lot on this can to read here. So let's get started with that. Like I said, it's the 2023 edition Boom from Columbus, 4.5% uh, alcohol. Uh, the 1870 Society on an unrelenting pursuit to become the country's gold standard for how a collective cultivates and generates financial and social value for the community at large, empowering, empowering athletes, engaging fans, and elevating the community. Our American lager holds true to the name with a crisp, refreshing taste. This brew is perfect for any occasion, especially on game day. Crack open a can and enjoy a one-of-a-kind experience. Cheers. Now, I don't know if anybody else has ever seen a beer like this, but I have not. And again, as I said, it's it's a pretty new thing with the uh, new NCAA rules. And it's kind of neat to see that they're now able to uh, use beer as one of the ways to raise funds. Now, on Untapped, this gets a 3.07, but this is super new. There were 23 check-ins. So obviously there is uh, nothing on Beer Advocate. I'm really surprised at that because for a lager, I kind of hard poured that and that poured out like soda. I mean, that head gone, instantly gone. So for the color, that is see-through. I mean, that is completely clear see-through, like a Bud Light, Miller Light. I didn't have to look at my chart. It gets a one. I mean, that's light yellow fizzy water, crystal clear. But you are marketing this to college kids any athletic supporters, people going to games, generally want to crush lots of beers. 
they want something light, easy drinking, something that's sessionable. Smell. Huh. A kind of light adjuncty smell, but that's about it. That kind of corn adjuncty smell, but it's very subtle. And not much else there. I mean, this looks like carbonated orange juice. Or orange juice, wow. Where am I at? Carbonated apple juice. Let's dig into it. Very effervescent. I mean, you got that carbonation right up front. It's a little bit, there's a little bit of a sweet taste to it. Like, again, like a, uh, an adjunct sweetness, but it's not cloyingly sweet or sickening, su sickeningly sweet like some of these adjunct beers get. I don't even know if there is any adjuncts in this, but it's just kind of what it reminds me of. There's not much else to it, though. Yeah, it's just kind of a, a sweet kind of beer. I mean, there's not a whole lot of flavor to it. You could easily crush a lot of these. You could drink a whole pile of these at 4.5%. You wouldn't be too fluthered or anything. Uh, and like they said, it's a good game day beer. Uh, you want to do some tailgating, this would be a great tailgating beer. Now, I'm kind of torn on, on rating, this, rating this beer. It's not the kind of beer I typically look, look for. I don't look for just plain old American lagers. Uh, they're kind of boring. But, you know, if I was... Looking for a 12-pack of beers to sit down like drinking beer. This would be a beer that would be in my in my stable, in the wheelhouse. I would probably buy this again. So I will begrudgingly give it a horns up. It's not the best thing out there. But if you're looking for something like Bud Light, Coors Light, Middle Light, some of those big macro beers, this is exactly what you want. Skip all those things. Buy this beer. Because, you know, this beer tastes just as good, if not better, probably better than all those macros out there, the light American lagers. And this is going to a good cause. I mean, like I said, supposedly 20% of the sales of the beer go to the 1870 Society, who are trying to help out the student athletes and the athletic programs. So if you're going to buy a and drink a uh, yellow fizzy water beer with not a lot of flavor to it, why don't you buy something that is actually going to a good, color, good cause and supporting the youth? So yeah, give it a horns up. I'd buy it again. Thanks for watching, everybody. Huzzah.